Hello, I'm Daniel Westfall on the channel Pray With Me. We've been looking at the book of Revelation, at messages Jesus sent to seven churches in Asia. Jesus warns them about things they've got wrong. He gives them advice on how to do better and promises a reward if they are faithful. Today, let's look at the rewards. If the church in Ephesus returns to their first love, Jesus promises they will eat from the tree of life in God's paradise. It's almost like Jesus saying, here's your chance to unmake Adam and Eve's bad decision and eat fruit from the right tree this time. Inviting, isn't it? Then to the church in Smyrna, Jesus says, If you are faithful through persecution, I will give you the crown of life. Jesus told the church in Pergamum that if they repent of false teachings, he will give them hidden manna and a white stone with a new name on it, known only to those who receive it. I wonder what my white stone will say. I often call myself incompetent or failure or slow to understand. Perhaps Jesus will erase the memory of these names and call me faithful or honorable. Jesus encourages the fourth church, Thyatira, to do his will to the end. I will give you authority over the nations, he said, and I will give you the morning star. Not sure I want authority over nations. Most of them are a mess. But I do like mornings when Venus is visible in the east before sunrise. Would the morning star be mine if Jesus gave it to me? Jesus tells the Sardis church to wake up and show some signs of life. If they do, they will walk with him dressed in white robes. I'd like that, abandoning my dirty laundry, my clothes frayed and stained from a life of struggle. I would walk with Jesus in white. Jesus promised the Philadelphia church he will write on them the name of God, the name of the city of God, and Jesus' own new name. Now that would give me a new identity, stamped with the name of my new home in God's city and the name of the Savior I have long loved and served. If the last church, Laodicea, repents of being lukewarm, Jesus promised they can sit with him on his throne. Here's a quick review of Jesus' promises to churches and people that stay the course. They get new food, hidden manna, and fruit from the tree of life. They get a new identity, a new name written on a white stone. They get new clothes and a new journey to walk with Jesus dressed in white. They get a new job to sit with Jesus on his throne and rule the nations. They get a new possession, the morning star. Let's pray. O oh, Jesus, I don't know where the imagery ends and the reality begins in the gifts you promise, but I love your plan to make everything new, to replace the painful circumstances of our current life with the glorious kingdom of God, a new menu, new clothes, a new job, a new identity. Help us live into this hope to cast off lies and idols, 
to learn and live in the truth, to value and practice righteousness, to put on our heavenly identity while we are still dressed in these charity shop clothes of earth. Amen. I'm Daniel on the channel. Pray with me.